Welcome to Lone Tar YouTube videos. This video is going to demonstrate how to make a bootable CD image only on Scope and Server 5. First thing we're going to do as user root from the command line is go into LT menu. Now from here we have two options you can go. You can go right into the utilities menu number 6 or we have a nice shortcut from the main menu if you type in RR for short for Rescue Ranger that will get you right into the Rescue Ranger main menu where you want to go. All right, now here we're going to make a bootable CD image. So where we need to go is image administrator. Now I'm connected via Telnet, so my term variable is set to X term, which is why I am seeing all these characters, the MQs, the Ls, Xs. If you're from the console itself and your term is set to ANSI, uh, you won't see this. It'll look like it should. So, um, but if you do see this, you can ignore that. It's just uh, based on your term emulator. So I'm going to go to option number four, image administrator, and we're going to select bootable CD image only, ISO CD image only. This will make a bootable ISO image on your hard drive, which you can take to any machine, even a Windows machine, and burn it to a CD. This option is very popular for people who like to um, use another third-party application or if they don't have a CD burner on their SCO machine. So we'll do number four. And here it's going to tell you where the image is going to be saved. It's going to be saved in user RR images saved img.dir directory. Press enter and let it ride. And we're done. Now, if we quit all the way out and we CD to the directory. And there's our file, rrboot.iso. And you can take this file, like I said, anywhere, even a Windows machine, and burn it to a CD. Once you burn it to a CD, absolutely test it. When you boot off of the CD, the test option is number seven. It will test the backup media and the hard drives to make sure it can access both. Once that test passes, then you can rely on the backup media, the crash recovery media. Thank you.